Welcome to the Transitions Daily Podcast. Transitions Daily is an online recovery group that offers a daily distribution of popular recovery resources accompanied by a secret Facebook group for discussion. We hope you enjoy today's readings. This is Transitions Daily for September 13th, read by Brittany F. from Houston, Texas. AA Thoughts for the Day Trouble There was a time when we ignored trouble, hoping it would go away, or in fear and in depression we ran from it, but found it was still with us. Often full of unreason, bitterness, and blame, we fought back. These mistaken attitudes, powered by alcohol, guaranteed our destruction, unless they were altered. Then came AA. Here we learned that trouble was really a fact of life for everybody, a fact that had to be understood and dealt with. Surprisingly, we found that our troubles could, under God's grace, be converted into unimagined blessings. Bill W. Letter 1966 Thought to Consider Through adversity, we find strength. Acronyms Faith Facing all and trusting Him Just for today Popular from When AA Came of Age At this point, the Cleveland Plain Dealer ran a series of pieces that ushered in a new period for Alcoholics Anonymous, the era of mass production of sobriety. Elric B. Davis, a feature writer of Deep Understanding, was the author of a series of articles that were printed in the middle of the Plain Dealer's editorial page, and these were accompanied every two or three days by red-hot blasts from the editors themselves. In effect, the Plain Dealer was saying, Alcoholics Anonymous is good, and it works. Come and get it. The newspaper's switchboard was deluged. Day and night, the calls were relayed to Clarence and Dorothy, and from them to members of their little group. Alcoholics Anonymous comes of age, page 20. Daily Reflections Repairing the Damage Good judgment, careful sense of timing, courage, and prudence. These are the qualities we shall need when we take Step 9. 12 Steps and 12 Traditions, page 83 To make amends can be viewed two ways. First, that of repairing damage, for if I have damaged my neighbor's fence, I make amend, and that is a direct amend. The second way is by modifying my behavior, for if my actions have harmed someone, I make a daily effort to cause no further harm. I amend my ways, and that is an indirect amend. Which is the best approach? The only right approach, provided that I am causing no further harm in doing so, is to do both. If harm is done, then I simply mend my ways. To take action in this manner assures me of making honest amends. As Bill sees it, a special experience. I was the recipient of a tremendous mystic experience or illumination, and at first it was very natural for me to feel that this experience staked me out as somebody very special. But as I now look back upon this tremendous event, I can only feel very grateful. It now seems clear that the only special feature of my experience were its suddenness and the overwhelming and immediate conviction that it carried. In all other respects, however, I am sure that my own experience was essentially like that received by any AA member who has strenuously practiced our recovery program. Surely the grace he receives is also of God. The only difference is that he becomes aware of his gift more gradually. Grapevine, July 1962 Big Book Quote If there be divorce or separation, there should be no undue haste for the couple to get together. The man should be sure of his recovery. The wife should fully understand his new way of life. If their old relationship is to be resumed, it must be on a better basis since the former did not work. This means a new attitude and spirit all around. Sometimes it is to the best interest of all concerned that a couple remain apart. Obviously, no rule can be laid down. Let the alcoholic continue his program day by day. When the time for living together has come, it will be apparent to both parties. Alcoholics Anonymous, Working with Others, page 99. 24 hours a day. AA thought for the day. 
No one is too discredited nor has sunk too low to be welcomed cordially into AA if he or she means business. Social distinctions, petty rivalries, and jealousies are laughed out of countenance. Being wrecked in the same vessel, being restored and united under one God with hearts and minds attuned to the welfare of others, the things that matter so much to some people no longer signify much to us. In AA, we have true democracy and true brotherhood. Has AA taught me to be truly democratic? Meditation for the day. When you call on God in prayer to help you overcome weakness, sorrow, pain, discord, and conflict, God never fails in some ways to answer the appeal. When you are in need of strength for yourself or for the help of some other person, call on God in prayer. The power you need will come simply, naturally, and forcefully. Pray to God not only when you need Him, but also just to commune with Him. The spirit of prayer can alter an atmosphere from one of discord to one of reconciliation. It will raise the quality of thought and word and bring order out of chaos. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may bring peace where there is discord. I pray that I may bring consolation where there is conflict. Hazelden Foundation, P.O. Box 176, Center City, Minnesota, 55012. My name is Brittany, and I am an alcoholic. We hope you enjoy today's readings. You can also receive Transitions Daily via email and discuss today's readings in our secret Facebook group. So for more information, go to dailyaaemails.com today. Other than the 24 hours a day reading, unless otherwise specified, all quotes copyright Alcoholics Anonymous World Services, Inc., 1952 through 2001.